bro, growing up, I was always canceled. I was always seen, in, especially in school. In school, my teachers always thought that I wasn't going to become much. They, they would always speak that over me. I mean, I wasn't the, the, the easiest kid. My wife would call me a baby's kid, but, you know, it's, I would always kind of, I would get in trouble. I will get in trouble because me and some of my friends, it was the friends that I kept, right, that we would always be mischievous. We'd, we'd be those kids the way you always hear um, our names on the PA system being called to to come to the office. If he doesn't change, he's going to end up in jail or he's going to be a robber or whatever. They would speak that over my life. But here, here's the interesting thing. My parents used to speak the opposite. And so they would always say affirmations to us like we're first and not last. Where the head and not the tail and and these man these thoughts would always remain in me regardless of what people said regardless of what the teachers said i always remembered my parents saying that i was first and i was not last and so i wouldn't accept those things and matter of fact it would make me work harder you know and i remember when we we were doing an exam to to get into another school while I was still in Trinidad. Um, man, my, my teacher, he thought I was going to fail everything, but I ended up getting the, the second choice school that, that I actually wrote down out of five, you know? And so being able to prove them wrong, that was, that was pretty solid for me. And it made me, it made me work hard, you know? And, I mean, growing up, it's like the same thing, man, because when you when you are trying to do things right and you have these affirmations in you, your mind, whatever you focus on is what is what materializes in the real world. And so because I had these I'm first, I'm not last thoughts People around me, I would I would always try to think outside of the box, right? And me trying to think outside of the box, and I'll come up with an idea, and I'll be really excited about these ideas, and and I'll tell people that would be around me, and and then they would say things like, "Oh, there he goes again," you know, like I'm sure you've heard that before, like, "Oh, there there he goes again," or oh, he's dreaming again, or whatever. You know, and, and that would make me at the time conform because I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking what I'm thinking is not for people like me. Ah, it, it's such a lie. It's such a lie where you don't have to stay within those boundaries you don't. Matter of fact, it's so much better on the other side once you start coloring outside those lines. Because what that have done for me, it, it freed me. It freed my, my thought process. It freed everything. Like instead of being conformed and confined within these, these, these lines. I mean, there's books on this, right? You got Think and Grow Rich. Like all these different people who has done it before us they they leave clues they say geniuses leave clues and there are all these clues out here i used to hate reading man like i'm telling you i used to hate reading but now reading has helped me to elevate myself way beyond anything that i would have ever imagined because i always felt like there was more there was more and i remember when when I was leaving my nine to five or even going through that process before that, there were so many times I'm like, there has to be more. There has to be more. There were times like I would call my wife while I'm at, at work and I'll be so stressed out. Like, babe, like this, there has to be more than this because that feeling like I just felt so confined compared to where things are now and and i'll be honest i probably i definitely work harder now than i did when i had my nine to five i did 
but it's working for me. The schedule that I that that we have is is working for ourselves. We get to set that. And not, not only do we get to set that, we're also getting that cash flow, right? And so now we got these assets that we're building that's paying for our lifestyle. <laughs>